Many of us will be asking, how can I get my hands on the Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro now that they are here? At the Made by Google hardware event on October 4, the two new phones made their debuts with the Pixel Watch 2. Both devices were made immediately pre-orderable. While the Pixel 8 Pro costs $999, the Pixel 8 begins at a starting price of $699. Fortunately, most carriers provide a few trade-in incentives you may take advantage of here. If you act quickly, you may even be able to obtain the $349 Pixel Watch 2 for free. Starting on October 12, the Google Store and retail partners of the firm will also have both devices and cases for sale. In order to ensure that its new devices are accessible for purchase, Google hasn't wasted any time. On the day of their official release, October 4, pre-orders for both devices went on sale, and on October 12, they were widely available. The fact that Google performed this action with the Pixel 7 last year suggests that it has mastered the technique by this point. What are you waiting for, then, if you're looking to upgrade to a Pixel? All of the top carriers provide compatibility for the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. The details you need on how to get them are provided below. We now know the entire pricing for Google's new versions since both devices are officially official. While the Pixel 8 Pro starts at $999, the Pixel 8 is available for $699. You get 128GB of storage in both cases. The Pixel 8 Pro costs $1,059, while the base model costs $759, if you chose to upgrade to 256GB. Even higher, however, is possible with the Pixel 8 Pro. The price will increase to a respectable $1,119 for 512GB of storage, and to $1,219 for 1TB. Due to the fact that the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro seem to be the finest phones Google has ever made, there are a number of reasons why you should pre-order the devices. To get an idea of what we think thus far, read our hands-on reviews of the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro here. First off, the new Tensor G3 processor from Google powers both the ordinary and Pro versions, significantly accelerating their performance compared to earlier generations. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.